And we are back, I do believe. Chattahoochee Valley wants a timeout. We'll take one as well. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome back, Bear Basketball, WJLX. Apologize for the technical difficulty here. Our internet cutouts. Can you believe that? But we are back. 312 time to go. Whistles underneath. Let's check the foul situation here. It's going to be on the Bears. 23, 70 to 65 with 3.05 to go. Tenth team foul, double bonus through the rest of the night here. That's going to send Hamilton to the line. Shot up, shot good. It's 71 to 65. Still a two possession game here. Second shot on the way, it's no good. And the rebound's out to the Bears. Bounce pass, top of the circle. There's Daniels for three and it's a big one, yes! He got it! He got it! It's 71-68. Two fifty-two to go in regulation, and the Bears are back into this thing. Oh my goodness! Keep it right here as they wipe up the floor. Two fifty-two to go in regulation. About ready to play as they've wiped up the floor here. Three point advantage for Chattahoochee Valley. Winner moves on to play Sneed for the Division II Championship. Marsh gets it in to Williams. Williams with a basketball. It's gut check time. It's crunch time. 2.40 to go. Hamilton with a basketball. Leaves off with Marsh. 10 to shoot. Williams going to hand off to Marsh. Six to shoot. Five to shoot. The big guy has the basketball. Back outside Marsh for three. Short. Offensive rebound. And the putback is there by guess who? Hamilton. His 26 point. It's 73 68. Here's Daniels for three again. Yes, he got it again! Daniels nails another three! 73-71! Isaiah Daniels with four trays in the ball game. Two back-to-back. -back. 
Holy smokes. Don't go anywhere, folks. We got a ball game here. We'll be back in just a moment. Bear Basketball is presented by Pinnacle Bank. We're live on WJLX. Bevel State is your community college for convenient and affordable academic transfer options. Rewarding health science programs. High wage, high demand career tech training. Your story starts at Bevel State. Oh boy, what a great ball game so far. 73-71. Chattahoochee Valley by two. Winner moves on to the championship game tomorrow at three o'clock. Marsh with a basketball for Chat Valley. Running the point here. A minute 50 to go in the ball game. 10 to shoot. Marsh left side. Gonna go to the hot hand, Hamilton. He's double teamed. He's looking for help. Three to shoot. He's gonna get it off. Shot good from his teammate, McKinday. His fourth point, and that's a big one. They're all big from here on out. Bounce pass with 90 seconds left. Number four with a basketball, good jumper. No, the ball's tipped around, Bears come up with it. The rebound, the put back, no good. Two looks at the bucket, ball's loose again. Whistles, someone stepped on the line, it's gonna remain Bear basketball. Minute 15 to go. In regulation, 75-71, it's a two possession game. Shangasi will inbound. And once again, they'll have to wipe the floor up as bodies were flying everywhere. Both of these coaches in their first season at their respective programs. But earlier tonight, Coach Billy Connor was named the Division II Coach of the Year. And it's well deserved. Bears with a minute 15 left. We're ready to play as now Daniels will trigger it in. Daniels looks. Oh, it's knocked away by Marsh and out of bounds. Right in front of us here. So now the Bears will inbound. Quinn Brooks will inbound. Quinn works it in. Shangazi. Shangazi is going to be fouled. And that's going to send him to the line of the one and one. Or, yeah. One and one time for Shangazi. 77% free throw shooter. Need him now. Like I mentioned, the Bears led the entire opening half. They led all the way to the 8.05 point of this half. But they let it slip away. Here's the front half of the one and one good as they're trying to come back. It's a one possession game, 75-72. This one's coming down to the wire, folks. Brett Elmore courtside here for JLX Sports. Appreciate you folks tuning our way here tonight. Second shot is good. 75-73. Shangasi, his 15th point. Chat Valley will inbound and have to go the length of the floor here. Looking to work it in. They get it in to Marsh. Marsh leaves it off now with Williams. Williams. One minute to go in regulation. 
Williams leaves off with Hamilton. With 12 to shoot, Hamilton makes a move in the paint. Shot partially blocked. Bears back the other way. Shagasi with a basketball. 45 seconds. Daniels for three in the lead. No. Ball's knocked around, knocked around, knocked around. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tavian Good and the Bears. Oh, my goodness. 75-73. It will be an eight-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Williams will work it in and an immediate foul now. And this will be against Shangazi, his second, and it'll send Marsh to the line. A 70% free throw shooter. So the Bears looking to extend out this ball game here. He's gonna get two shots. And it's a two-point lead. And once again, they're going to have to wipe up the floor. <laughs> We've had four games here tonight, or today. Two women's games, two men's games. Sneed State's already punched their ticket to tomorrow's finals on the men's side. They await the winner of this one. Marsh could make it a two possession game. First shot is good. This could make it a two possession game. 76 73, your score. Marsh eyes the bucket. It is no good. It's still a one possession game. 34 seconds left to go in the game. Here's a dribble, Shangazi. Gonna leave it off with Daniels. Daniels to Shangazi. Shangazi, 20 to play, 12 to shoot. Shangazi, looking, seven to shoot, works off a screen. He puts up a three, no good. Rebound, putback is there. And it's good by Brooks. And that makes it a 76, 75 game. A one point lead for Chattahoochee Valley with six seconds left. Full timeout. We'll take one as well. Back with the final moments. WJLX, the sound of Walker County in your home for Bevel Athletics. Here we go, six seconds to play. And Chattahoochee Valley leads by a point here. Winner goes to the championship game, the press is on. Williams trying to work it in, whistles. We got an immediate foul. This is gonna be on Jalen Stevenson, his first. And so no time elapses off the clock, which is a good thing. And you're gonna have Elijah Marsh going to the charity stripe here. It's still going to be a one possession game even if he knocks them both down. And there is plenty of time left here. Marsh eyes the bucket. Marsh with 16 points. Shot on the way, shot is good. 
Makes it 77-75. Whistles now. We got a sub coming in. Heron will check in for Stevenson. Second shot coming up. It is on the way. It is good. Timeout on the floor. Full timeout on the floor here. It's Marsh. Drains the second one. Is 18th. It's going to take a three ball to tie this thing up. We will step aside once more and back with more. Bear basketball presented by Pinnacle Bank. WJLX. Coach Billy Connor is down about five or six rows down from us here, drawing up a play. And this play will either send us to overtime or send us home. It is a three-point lead for Chattahoochee Valley. And here we go. Six seconds left in the ball game. Winner moves on to take on Sneed in the Division II championship game tomorrow. Here we go. Inbounds pass coming up. They work it in. Shangazi with a basketball. Shangazi going to put up a shot. Oh, he's fouled. He is fouled. He is fouled with two seconds left. With two seconds left, he is fouled shooting the three. Holy smokes! He is fouled shooting the three, and Coach Bird is irate here on the Chattahoochee Valley sideline. First shot is good for Shengazi. 78-76, got to have all three, the pressure's on. He nailed them both, he's got one left to tie it. One more to tie this game to send it to overtime, I can't believe it. Oh boy, the biggest free throw of his career is good, it is money, oh my goodness. This place is rocking! 78! 78! Two seconds left! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! The unthinkable with only six seconds left. And the Bears needed a three to tie it. Shangasi, the guy that can do it all, draws the foul as they, as he was shooting the three and drains all three of the free throws to tie this game and quite possibly keep the season alive. The momentum, Uncle Mo is on the side of the good guys at Bevel State. Coach Connor breaks the huddle with his team. Gonna have to defend for two more seconds here. And maybe this thing will go to overtime. What a zany turn of events here in Mobile. 
<laughs> Man, I appreciate you folks staying with us tonight. It was looking bleak. Two seconds left. The momentum is on the side of the Bears. And Marsh will inbound. Inbounds pass coming up. Snowbird pass. Two seconds left. The, wait a minute, the clock didn't even start. The clock didn't even start. Hold on a second. The scorekeeper fell asleep. Overtime, they say. It is over. Oh, and coach, the Chattahoochee Valley coach just below here is livid. They didn't get a shot off. So now he's getting the explanation that this game is going to overtime. We're going to sort this thing out. We'll be back with what looks to be overtime coming up next here. Bear basketball presented by Pinnacle Bank Live, WJLX. Sir, it's overtime to decide who's going to the title game tomorrow. Five minutes on the clock. Overtime is underway. Bevel State Walker College with a basketball as we are set here. Whistles. And we have a foul. This is going to be on Hoover. That is his fifth. He has fouled out. Hoover has fouled out with eight points. And once again now, remember I talked about their depth. They only have three players on the bench. Now they only have two as we get down into this overtime. Sending good to the line. Shot on the way. It is no good. Front half, the one and one will not go. Still tied at 78 in overtime. Left side, the ball is almost lost out of bounds. Hamilton comes back up with it. Back to Marsh now. Marsh stops his dribble, looks for help, looks, looks, tend to shoot, puts it up off the front iron, no good. Gets his own rebound, it's no good. Whistles, and we have a foul. This is going to go on. Davis, that's his fifth. Davis is fouled out of the game with nine points. So here's Elijah Marsh going to shoot two. And now we're having some discussion here. So, who are they going to replace him with? Here comes um, Alistair Dixon. He will check in. We're in overtime here, 431 to go in the first overtime. We're tied at 78, and at the line is Elijah Marsh. Now the referee's still having a powwow.
And what a ball game this one's been. Second, or the first shot on the way, it is up. And it is good. It's 19th point. Breaks the tie at 79-78. Second shot is off the front iron, no good. And the rebound coming out to the Bears. Shangazi with a basketball. Shangazi will drive high and no good, but he's fouled. So that one's going to be on McKinday, his second. And to the line goes Shangazi. He could crack. Oh, first shot, no good. Off the front iron. So he's got one more to try to tie it again. The Bears are looking to take the lead, but now nope, could at least tie it here. Shangazi. Second shot is money. It's good. He is 19th, so we're tied at 79. 420. Time to go in overtime. Oh, what a what a battle between these two. Ball is loose, and the Bears come away with it. Shangazi with a basketball. He's going to lay it up. Missed it. The putback's there. And Dixon gives the Bears the lead. Marsh with a basketball. Marsh directing traffic here and running the point. Sets the offense. Oh, it goes out of bounds. Through the hands of Tim James and out of bounds. A turnover. The Bears with a chance to extend their lead here. It's 81-79. Brooks works it in to Shangazi. Here's Shangazi again, right side. Drives on the wing, pulls back outside. Bounce pass. Shangazi for three. He's fouled again shooting the three. So wait a minute. This was on... Number one, Elijah Marsh, how big is this? Was that his fifth? Yes. Tim James into the ball game. Shangasi. First one is good. 82-79, this is his second time to be Fouled while shooting a three. The first time got us to this point in overtime. Got us to overtime. 83-79, Shangazi with a third one. It's good. 84-79, 3.20 to go in overtime. Man, oh man, oh man. Williams with the basketball. Top of the circle, goes right. Tim James with the basketball. James stops his dribble. Looks left, finds his teammate. He's gonna penetrate, he stops, he walks. He walks, that is the third turnover in a row. The third turnover in a row for Chattahoochee Valley. And the Bears now with under three to play in overtime. Going to work, Shengazi. Leaves off with Brooks. Back around now. Dixon, Shengazi. Shengazi looks inside, skips a bounce pass underneath to Dixon. Now they try to feed it back to Dixon. It goes off the leg of number 12, Omari Hamilton. Quinn Brooks will inbound here with nine to shoot. 
Shungazi with seven at six. At five, he's going to put up the three. Got it! Got it! Jake as he gets it. He nails the three. 87-79, the Bears in overtime. Leading. Shangazi has come up huge, huge in this game. Three on the way for Chat Valley. No good. Rebound coming up to Isaiah Daniels and the Bears. We are approaching two minutes to go in the ball game. In overtime. Two minutes to go. Daniels gonna look inside. Streaking player shot blocked. Blocks it back the other way. Here's a lay-in. James Good. His 10th point. That makes it 87-81. Timeout Chattahoochee Valley. We have a minute 45 to go in overtime, and we will return to more Bear basketball in just a moment. Minute 45 to go in overtime. Red Elmore live from Mobile. Bears will inbound and the press is on. Quinn Brooks will work it in and gets it into Daniels. Over to Shangazi near side. Shangazi right in front of us here. He'll dribble drive. In the paint, finds a wide open Quinn Brooks who lays it in. Left side good. 89-81, Bears on top. Foul is called on the shot on the other end of the floor. And to the line will go Hamilton. This is on Good. Now this is his fourth. A minute 22 to go in overtime. Bears by eight. Hamilton's first shot on the way. It rolls out, no good. Second shot coming up. It is up, it is good. <laughs> your score. Bears with the basketball now. As time becoming a factor in overtime. Shangasi with the basketball. Shangasi taking his time. 15 to shoot. 14 to shoot. As we approach the one minute mark in the ball game. In overtime. Shangasi 8 to shoot. 7, 6. Shangasi's going to be fouled. Tim James. That's only James's second. And that'll send Shangazi back to the line where he's making a living here since the end of regulation. Two free throws coming up for Shangazi in overtime. First free throw is good. He has... 26 points now. Second shot. Good. Good. 
91-82. Bears on top, 50 seconds to go. Three on the way, good! From Chattahoochee Valley, Williams. Keeps the hope alive, it's a two possession game. The Bears with the basketball, trying to just milk some clock here. 39 seconds to go in overtime, and the foul is called. Fourth personal foul here on, I believe, uh, yeah, Omari Hamilton. And to the line will go Good. He has 11 points. Shot coming up. On the way, it is up. And it is good. 92-85. One more coming up here. It is up and it is good. 93-85, your score with 39 seconds left to go in overtime. Bears with the lead here. They're gonna try a quick shot here, obviously. Gonna put it up, tries to draw the foul. No good for Wiltshire. Fight for the rebound, Bears come away with it. 27 seconds. Here is a lay in good by the Bears. Griffin, his first points. And ladies and gentlemen, the writing may be on the wall now. Hamilton will drive. Here's a shot. And he's going to be fouled by Good. That's his fifth. So he fouls out. Good with uh, 13 points will go to the bench. Hamilton will go to the bench here. It's a 10 point game. 95-85 and only 18 seconds left. So. <coughs> I've seen some wacky things happen, obviously in this game. But I just don't know as the first shot is no good. I just don't know if there's enough time for them to come back in this one. 18 seconds left. Winner going to the championship game tomorrow. Shot is good for Hamilton. It's 95-86. And ladies and gentlemen, Chattahoochee Valley is throwing in the towel. You hear the crowd. Shangazi. And the Bears win it! The Bears win it and will go to the championship game tomorrow. Steve State awaits. 3.30 is the official time here at the tournament for tip-off. Got to take a breather here. I'm telling you, 95-86 was the final score. And the Bears win it. And will go to the championship game tomorrow. The official start time is at 3.30. You see the Bears meeting in the middle of the court. Let's take a look at the numbers. Man, oh man, what a game. Shangazi, 27. Hey buddy, you dropped that. Oh no. Someone dropped some, uh, anyway, 27 points for Shangazi. 12 points for Daniels. 13 for Goo, three for Heron, two for Griffin. Nine for Davis, 10 for Brooks, 14 for Dixon. But ladies and gentlemen, the Bears are going to the championship game tomorrow, playing for their first Division II championship. Since they won the D2 championship in 2004 on the Fayette campus. The Jasper campus, though, has not seen a championship since 1983. Folks, 
appreciate you joining us here tonight. I'll see you back here tomorrow for the title game. Until then, I'm Brett Elmore saying good night from Mobile.